Welcome to an album review for the latest Druk album. Druk being one of my favourite bands of all time, one of the f my favourite black metal bands, my actual favourite black metal band. Every single album they've done is fantastic, from the debut to Autumn Aurora to just everything in between. Blood and Noels is my personal favourite, but they have like Microcosmos going to the stars. They have they often see Dreams about the Spring, which is a fucking fantastic recent album, and now they have the newest one. All Belongs to the Night, and it is a more moody album, it's a more sorrowful album, and it makes sense because of the, you know, the war in Ukraine makes sense that it'll be a lot more sorrowful, and the music, it bleeds it, bleeds melancholy. And these songs, there's only four songs on this album, but each of them just pack a mammoth punch. It does remind me of the um, debut Forgotten Legends, Although even that one didn't have... That one only had like three songs, didn't it? But yeah, each song on this album, clocking in around 10 minutes each, aside from the last song, which is a whopping 15 minutes. But oh boy, we'll get to that song, because it closes on a bloody bang. But yeah, excitedness, tone it down a little bit, this is a review questie. But we're not professional, so fuck it. Let's just dive right in. So before I get started, what do you think about this new album? It's been out on Season of Mist for a while. Now it's out officially. How does it stack up with a catalog? Is it in the upper echelon? Is it in the downer downer echelon? Is, it, is that an actual word? Is it down in the dumps? Let's say that instead, yeah. Where would it rank for you? But for me, I feel oh, this is fantastic. Like I've listened to it non-stop since it came out on streaming and yeah, let's let's talk about it. Let, let's give it a little whirl. Starting off with the very first song, which was a single, and it came out quite a while ago, the Nocturnal one. Loved the music video, and as soon as this single came out, I was like, New Druk! Holy shit! This is gonna be good. And it was. It delivered. It was very different. The intro was very different than I'm used to. Like, the guitar parts and the rhythms were very, like, off off, not off tempo, but it was a bit, a bit strange. But then after those first couple of minutes, I was like, "Holy shit!" Now it's grabbing me, and now it's, it's got its claws into me. I love like the full sound of this song as well. It just kind of like envelops you in like this atmospheric Ukrainian mist. That's just so good. Um, and the vocals on all of these songs, but this one especially, are just demonic as ever. Like those vocals are just like rip your skin off and. Just, peel the flesh within. It's that brutal, it's that gruesome, and I love those kind of black metal screams. Those are my favourite kind. Four minutes into this song, it kind of slows down, calms down a little bit, and that's a um, thing I see with all four of these songs. It, you know, kind of gets intense at the start, and then in the middle it kind of slows down a bit, and then at the end it, it either goes faster or slower depending on the song. But this one, yeah, the middle part slows down a bit, but it has some amazing bass work in the middle of this song. That just kind of gives this like ethereal feel. It feels like very wispy and like ethereal. That, that is the right word for it. And no, it just gives way thicker and richer atmosphere to the song than would have had without that fucking bass and cool stuff around it. And then of course it kicks back in with the vocals and there's fucking blast beats and everything and it just shivers down the spine. Um, one thing again with all these songs, the drum work is absolutely insane. Like the drumming, the bass, the vocals and just the atmosphere of everything. Because Druk's a band where the guitars aren't, aren't key, you know, there's no crazy solos or anything like that. But the drumming and the mood and the screams, like, it's all there. And it all comes across on all these songs as well. And this is just a great way to start off the album. So yeah, Nocturnal One, you've probably heard it already. Um, but it's a great way to start off the album. Next off, we kick into Windmills, the second song, which is probably... I don't know, it's either between this one or the last one as my favourite songs in the album, because Windmills just has this... Well, it has like this... You just want to spin around like a windmill to the song, basically. That's how good it is. It starts off with this weird summoning-esque chanting, which I was kind of like, okay. Almost reminded me of the beginning of Blood in Our Wells, uh, but a bit more chanty. Um, so I do love the intro to this one. The sadness in this one as well, and the mood is palpable. Um, and the feral screams are just just as fucking grave, just as good as the, the first song as well. It has everything you want. It's got that sway kind of atmosphere and that kind of um, trance-like state that Druk puts you in. When you listen to the song, you're just kind of like, whoa, where did 10 minutes just go? 
that just went by in a flash. I might lose my memory cells, or it just is it just that good? That's what these songs do, and Windmill does it perfectly. And this is a perfect song. It's oh, it's yeah, it's probably my favorite song on the album. It's probably my favorite song, but it, it's tough because all four of these are fantastic. But let's move on. Windmills, great song, beautiful. Move on to November. Do you remember? Uh, November. This is another sorrowful, moody song that's just dripping with atmosphere. Now, this is one that starts off not intense, um, not chanting, no intense stuff. This starts off probably the most melancholic out of all the songs. And yeah, this almost album feels like DSBM to me. Not in the vocal style or even the riffing, but just the mood and the atmosphere, like DSBM and Funeral Doom mixed together. Definitely the most depressing Druk album, and November's another one which is just dripping with sorrow. Yeah, after that intro, it hits with probably one of the most best rhythms in the entire album. After that, it just keeps getting stuck in my head. Then it kind of goes faster and faster and faster until it kind of drops, and again, like that middle part, always Druk songs have that silence, like that quiet in the middle, calm before the storm as it were. And sometimes silence speaks louder than words. So that you need those moments to like amp up the bigger moments. So I love it when songs and bands do that. But yeah, November, fantastic. Third song on the album. But then we get to the last song. <laughs> Holy shit. Till we become the haze. This one is a mammoth 15 minutes long. <sighs> Let's talk about this. So it starts off like these galloping drums. Like it starts off intense as all shit. Those, the drumming at the beginning is insane, and this is a drum. This song is like a drummer's paradise. Holy shit, we can talk about the end part in a minute, which has two drum solos. But yeah, it starts off galloping with those rhythms and those fills as well. So yeah, the first part of this this um, song starts out with the usual feral screams, um, intensity that you come to expect, and then it kind of hits you with that druke trance again, similar to the rest of the songs. But it also keeps the intensity intact as well so this song's probably the most intense one they've done it's probably the heaviest one on the album and it keeps that energy going throughout even in the last like 10 minutes it still keeps the intensity going there is again a part in the middle though which is kind of bleak kind of uh, dsbm ish that's what it reminds me of but then then we get to the deliverance style outro which is like 10 minutes of just insanity like the build-up the build-up and then the anticipation and then the blast off and it goes into the fucking drum solo and then it does it again and builds up and into a second drum solo and then in the last minute it kind of just calms down is pure insanity this is the most interesting druk song i've ever heard i've never heard anything like this two drum solos what's going on it, it's got the best ending of any Druk song, um, and probably tell me down below if I'm saying that wrong, because I probably am. But yeah, this song just blows your head up right at the end. Perfect way to close an album, and a nice opposition to the Nocturnal One, which is the best way to start the album. So starts starts with a bang, ends with a bang, and my favourite's in the middle, Windmill. So yeah, this album is, again, it's amazing. I'm a fanboy though, Druk's one of my favourite bands of all time, so... Yeah, you know, I'm going to give it a high score. So for me, four songs, they're all fantastic. It's going to be a 9 out of 10. Um, I'm not going to give it a 10 because that means perfect. And they have so many albums that I could just be like, oh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I'm not going to do that. Um, Blood and Our Wells is the only 10 I'd give because that's my favorite. And each song kind of hits me, hits me where it hurts. This one, you know, could grow to be my favorite, but at the moment... I will do a ranking, but at the moment, I'd say somewhere in the middle. Um, I love it though. I, I love it. It's kind of like Enslaved. This band is like Enslaved. Every song's gr every album's great. Sorry. Um, so picking a favorite, it changes every day. Really, the only one I know is Blood and Noel's is my favorite, and the rest could change. <laughs> but yeah, another great addition to the catalog. Have you heard this album down below? Let me know what you thought. How would you rank it out of 10? And we'll see you again in another review. Let me know what you want to review, because I still could do the Dark Throne one as well. There's Ahab just released a new song. Oh my god, you know I'm going to re fucking review that. Holy shit. Go listen to the new Ahab song, if you haven't. If you like Funeral Doom, go listen to the new Ahab song. Oh my god. But yeah, that does it for this review. So we'll see you again on another Quest for Men.